everybody, it's Deb here with Country Craft Creations and Creative Life, and today we are going to get started on making Easter baskets. And I have two different Easter baskets we are going to make. Um, the, the first one that I did, okay, um, was one that I put the paper and adhered it to chipboard. So I cut out all the chipboard pieces, and then I went ahead and um, adhered my paper to it. And it's pretty sturdy, you guys. Um, it stands up. It measures about four, I mean, it's kind of oblong, so it measures four in uh, three, uh, three quarters this way. And then this way, it only measures four in a quarter. So it is kind of like an oblong shape. Um, it, it's really sturdy. It stands up great. You know, you have no problems at all with it. It's just, it's, it's a little deep. It's deeper, and, but it's a little bit... Um, uh, the circumference is not as wide okay for on this one this one here is a little bit wider okay it's using the same method except for you don't have the chipboard on this one um, but it's the pretty much the same method um, I went ahead and made a stand for it out of the chipboard and then adhered my pieces to the chipboard um, and then again it's it's pretty sturdy it stands up pretty nice. Um, the, the circumference on this one is about, it's a little larger, so it is about uh, five and three quarters, okay? So you do get more room in here. So, you know, if you're making this for somebody who's tiny, like my granddaughter, and doesn't, you know, they don't need to find a whole bunch of eggs, right? So you're not, you know, unless you're going to a big party or something like that. Um, but just for like a little gift even, like to sit on a desk or give a friend for Easter or whatever. Um, maybe put flowers inside of it. So cute. <laughs> so um, little candies. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a perfect size for just a personal little basket. Um, so for this project, we are going to be using the Authentic Jubilee, okay? And, um, I have three sheets here. You're going to cut your paper, okay, at, um, one eighth, one and one eighth by five inches, okay? And you're going to cut 16 strips. So you do use uh, one sheet of 12 by 12. So you'll get 16 strips from this sheet, plus you'll need to cut four strips of um, long strips of a half an inch. So um, I just left mine at 12 inches and I cut them at a half inch. So, um, I will be fast forwarding through that part. Um, I might even just do like a couple with you and then um, come back later and after I cut all my pieces and then um, and then go ahead and go from there. So let me cut a few with you, okay? And then also we'll be cutting the base. So um, the, the two, I call them pl platforms. So they're the platforms right here. So you'll need um, two of these. Um, actually, you might need three I don't know um, for this piece in here I think what I might do is we'll go ahead and make this piece now or this basket here if you want to do this one which is with the chipboard you're more than welcome to um, it's basically the same process the only difference is, is I added um, little uh, brads on mine just for decoration and you can do that too um, again, you'll use the chipboard and curve it around uh, this way. And um, I may go ahead and do another um, video. If I get enough requests for the chipboard one, um, I'll go ahead and do another tutorial on show you how to do this one. Um, but it's, it's like I said, it's the same basic um, principle, except you're just adhering your paper to the chipboard pieces that are cut at the same size. So, um, we're going to go ahead and cut our paper, okay? So, let me go ahead and I'm going to cut this. Oop, oh, that wasn't a good start. Okay, cut this down. Okay. And I did buy me some more blades. So, okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and cut your 16 strips. And you're going to go ahead and cut them at 1 eighth, 1 and 1 eighth. Okay, so, and, 
so I just cut like a bunch out at one inch okay at one and one 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 and one eighth inch <laughs> so <laughs> okay so um, just like that okay so let's say I have a whole bunch of these okay and basically I think you get like I want to say let's see and you'll need them by five inches I can't remember how many I think you only get two out of one okay and these little pieces you could put to the side so you'll get two out of out of one strip but if you cut all your strips out you'll you can get um, you know a lot um, cut at one time so we're gonna go ahead and cut a few pieces down Okay, so to get your 16 pieces, okay, you have to cut out, let's see, one, two, three, six, seven, eight uh, pieces at, so you cut out eight pieces um, at one and one eighth inches, okay? And then what I did, depending on your cutter, okay, I just took two, um, or maybe I'll do three at a time and see how that goes. I'll take three at a time. Okay, and cut them to my five inches. Okay, and um, so um, once you get done with that, so you'll just need 16 pieces at that five inches. Okay, and then once we get done cutting these, I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm done cutting my um, 16 pieces. So um, the next thing that you want to do is we're going to go ahead and cut our platforms. And the platforms um, actually are two by two and three quarters inches. So um, you'll just need a lightweight um, piece of chipboard. And so I've got some here. Okay, right here. Oh, let's see. I need a different piece. Sorry. Okay, this is good. So you'll just need a lightweight piece of chipboard. And you can buy that over at www Country Craft Creations. Um, Tamara Store, she sells the really thick kind of chipboard and she sells lightweight chipboard. So you can buy that from her store. She's awesome. So she always has everything you need. <laughs> so, uh, so for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it at um, two and two inches. Okay. So I'm just trying to make sure it's not crooked. So, so there's two inches and two and three quarters. Okay, so just a little square like this. That's what you're going to need. And um, let's go ahead and do another one just in case. So we'll go and do two and three quarters here. Okay, so now we've got two pieces of that. And then um, what you're going to need is you're going to also need four strips of um, 12 that are uh, 12 inches long, okay? And you're gonna go ahead and cut those each at one and a half. So, or not, not one and a half, at a half inch, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and cut those at a half inch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my paper right there. So I wanna measure and make sure that they're at a half inch. Yep, they're at a half inch. So. so you'll need four of those. Okay. 
Okay. Now, let's see. We will need, um, I forgot to cut this out. I forgot to cut the pieces out for this one. So you will need another piece of paper. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, so there's four. Okay, and then you'll have, um, I think this is about, left with about a one inch strip. Yeah, it's almost like a one inch strip. And you just set that to the side. And then for our um, piece here, actually you would have had, um, you would have had enough if you cut out of the big piece from the four, before we cut the four pieces off of this piece, um, you would have had just two cuts from here. And, and that would have been fine. So you would have just only used one 12 by 12 instead of cutting into another one. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, but, you know, we will use the paper, right? <laughs> so, and you can always make two baskets, so you could always, you know, use the other one if you needed it. So um, we're going to go ahead and cut this at two and three quarters. Okay. Two and three quarters by two, and we're going to need four pieces for this. One. Okay. So now, um, if you have a, a corner punch, you can get a corner punch out, okay, and um, I'm just going to use my We Are Memory Keepers corner punch, and I'm just going to go ahead and punch it. You can punch it on whatever so you want. I like the half, the half inch, so I'm just going to go ahead and punch the half inch all the way around, just like that, whatever corner punch you have. And then for these, I'm just going to measure, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut all of these at one time. Hopefully they measure right. <laughs> so, I never, I always do my papers one at a time. I never do them together like that, so let's see if this one... scissors real quick kind of cut that off a little bit okay now if you want to you are more than welcome to go ahead and um, ink your edges and I think I will go ahead and do that so um, I don't think y'all need to watch me ink my edges um, show you um, basically you just get your little dauber okay and I am going to do, I think I'll do, oh, I don't know where that is. Uh, let me grab my brown here real quick. I'll do the walnut stain since I have it here up on top. I use walnut stain a lot. Lately I've been using it a lot. So for your, your corners, you'll just, or for your inking your edges, you just go ahead and grab your little dauber and you go around your paper and it just kind of covers up that white area really nice so you don't have like the white peeking out see it just kind of darkens it a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of my um, papers and then I will be right back Okay, guys, I'm back. So I went ahead and I inked all of my sides of my papers. Okay, and so now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to attach these onto the, um, onto the platforms. And then once we get the platforms done, we can go ahead and add on um, our pieces of paper. And the one thing that I do want to say is that um, before we do that, I went ahead and all my little pieces there um we need to cut our um little pieces here at an angle so what you'll do 
is um, how I did it was I just went ahead and stuck these together like this okay and I just kind of clipped kind of like you're doing a tag okay just like that now you don't need to ink these because they're going to be on the inside of your platform if you want to you can but you don't need to okay um, then what I did was I just used one as my um, as my little guide so went ahead and took like this one and um, then I just went ahead and used it as a guide for my other ones okay and that's how I did mine so that way they would all be the same or around the same um, cut so um, like so that's how I did mine is I just went ahead and used one as a template <clears throat> and cut cut it all the same so that way they would be the same okay just like that so if you want to take a couple and do them at a time you can do that again I just went ahead and folded to make my template just folded it in and then I just cut like a little triangle the tri little triangle part off like that okay and then I just opened it up and then I just used that as my template to make sure like all my pieces like are the same just like that okay so you want to do that and then go ahead and adhere these your little um, things that you cut out at, to your platform okay and I will be right back okay y'all so okay so went ahead and cut all of my um, little strips here okay into that pointed look and then so you should have all of them just like that okay and then I went ahead and um, added my little platforms glued my little sheets onto my chipboard okay so those are done so now we get to put these together the one thing I want to tell you is that if you want to put brads on your um, little strips like I did here on the chipboard one you can still do that okay so um, I think it just gives it like that authentic kind of look like a basket <laughs> so but it's up to however you want to do that um, so uh, what I do what I did was I went ahead and rounded for my my basket I went ahead and just rounded my my little thin strips okay so you can do that now that way they're ready to go and we're, we're put, putting this together. Okay. And they'll kind of curl and that's okay. No worries. That's what you want. Okay. And then uh, you put those to the side. Now for your basket, okay, you're going to... Um, you're going to go ahead and use one of your platforms, okay? And I guess I missed one. I'm going to cut that real quick. Okay, so um, so for your platform, what you want to do first, okay, just it doesn't matter which one you grab, okay? Um, I felt it was easier for me when I went ahead and did them like this. Um, I also felt that it was easier if I got my bone folder okay and what you want to do is see where your little um, corners are right here okay um, you want to go ahead and just lift that up just like that you can score it I didn't think that we really needed to score every single one but you can if you want to okay and you're gonna go ahead and start with um, the corner first okay 
and then we're going to go ahead and build from there. So you're going to go ahead and put um, the corners in first, okay, and let me see here. One second, sorry. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put the corners in first, okay, just like this. So we'll put one here, and then put one here, and then we'll put one here. And then we'll build from there, okay? Um, but I need to go get my door first, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so for this, what you're going to need is we're going to go ahead and put ours like this, okay? So, let me just get your glue. And where I told you to fold, you're just going to go ahead and get, grab your glue and put it in that corner. Okay, just like that. Oops. Just like that. Okay. Now, you do want to make sure <clears throat> that your corners are on the platform. Okay, just like that. Okay. Um, so. Alrighty, and then we're going to do the next one. So on this one, again, you're just going to go ahead and get your bone folder, and you're going to lift up. Okay. And that's okay if your corners are not, like, perfect, like, across from each other. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Okay. So you're just going to go ahead and put that one down there. If your corners come off, I should say, if your corners do come off just a bit, like mine did, that's okay. All right. So, again, you're going to grab your bone folder, and you're just going to go ahead and flip that up. Okay? Just like that. And then you're going to put glue on that. And you're just going to go ahead and stick that on there, just like that. So then the next thing you're going to do is, I forgot to round these, so you can do that while it's on there if you want to, and you can round the rest of these, okay, just like that. going to go ahead and put that glue on the bottom just like that and stick that one in the next corner okay so it's going to look like that and then um, okay and then what you're going to do is after you do that then this is where we're going to start putting the ones on top of each other so like you'll have you'll go ahead and you'll put one um, here okay so um, between the two corners you'll go ahead and put one here okay and then you're gonna go ahead and put one here so and you'll just start building on top of those so like here you'll put one here okay and you'll push it back just a bit, okay, just like that, okay, and then we're going to do the other side, so I'm going to grab this one, and I'm going to turn it around and do this side. Okay, And then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go ahead and do the middle part here first. So, do the middle. 
here, just like that. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead from here, this is where you're going to start laying like one right here and here, one right here and here, and then um, so that's what we're going to do with these. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one, since I already folded that one, I'm going to put it over on this side. So you'll go ahead and lay it, and you want it to be where it's like... Um, let me see. I'll go ahead and bring this up. You want it to lay it, even though it's not going to be flush against, like, it's not going to be flush against the edging of that. Okay? You want, you, but you want it to be, like, you know, um, you want it to be in between these two little panels right here. Okay, just like that. Alrighty. So you kind of like have a V effect um, with your little strips. Okay. So that's kind of what you're shooting for. Okay, just like that. So like this one here is going to go like that. Now some of these when you lay them down they may be taller than the other ones they may be shorter than the other ones it doesn't really matter because um, you're gonna kinda clip it to where once you get it all done you're gonna clip them um, to where they um, will all be the same size Okay, so now you've got um, a good little basket going here, okay? So you want to go ahead and um, kind of fold them in a bit, okay? So, and this is where your second... Um, Now, if you don't use all your strips, that's okay. You don't have to use them all. Okay. Um, okay, so now this is where your second, your little um, panel comes in. And you can put that down right in through there. Okay, if you want to do that. Um, <clears throat> okay. And let's see here. I'm just debating if I want to put more panels in here or more little strips in here. Um, we can add a couple of more strips if you wanted to. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm actually thinking I might cut this down a little bit. Uh, I might cut it down to two inches. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and cut this down to two inches. So, let's see here. Because it's what about two? It's two and two and three quarters is what we did. 
Uh, let's go ahead and cut it down to two and a half, okay? And we can still round the corners and everything. And then I'm going to grab my scissors. I'm just going to cut this real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and ink this real quick. Okay. All right. So then um, we're going to go ahead and that's going to go into the middle part. Okay. So then the first thing that we're going to do before we lay that down, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to fold this in just like this, okay, to kind of get it to curve a little bit, okay, so just like that, okay, and then you're going to go ahead and get your strips, okay. Now the first strip um, that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the strip on the outside, and you're going to look for the top of your um, little uh, platform right here and that's where you're gonna start okay that's where I start or you can start anywhere um, actually it's, it doesn't really matter um, but I'm gonna start right here okay now if you're going to put brads on this okay um, what I did first is I went ahead and stuck my panel my little strips around first and then I did put the brads in and then I stuck my um, the one that I stick on the inside, um, uh, then I stuck it over my brads. So, um, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so you go ahead and get your glue, and this is where you're going to start forming your basket. Okay. So you're going to do that there. You're going to leave when you start forming your basket. See how I'm leaving like a little bit of a opening right there. That's what you're going to do, okay? So you're actually going to put your glue on your second one. You're going to go ahead and bring that towards the little strip, okay? And that's what I did for each one, okay? You're going to add your glue to your strips that bring it towards that little strip that we're gluing on, okay? And you're going to leave an opening right there. Okay, again, glue on your strip, and you're going to leave a little opening right there on your, see how you're going to have that little opening right there? Just like a basket does. That's exactly what you're, you're going to do. You're going to try to aim for that. And then, again, you're going to go ahead and put this there and now you you can scoot these over okay so you're gonna scoot them over just a bit if they're a little crooked or anything that's okay it doesn't need to be like right up um, it doesn't need to be like see how I have a little bit of mine peeking through that's okay because you can always come back and you can kind of clip that off if you wanted to do that, okay? It's not a problem. And then again, you're going to go ahead and grab this.
so now you see how it's starting to look like a basket okay on the inside and then on the outside okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to and that's why I had four of these strips um, so if you needed to you could have extra so this is when you're going to go ahead and I went and had I'm going to go ahead and put this one right here just going to do that right on top of that just like that okay and then we're just going to keep on going so like that will have be right there okay this will be right here just like that And if you have to bend them, that's okay. You you that means you just need to bend it to get it to conform to the basket. Okay. like overlap I'm gonna go ahead and glue this piece down on top of that I'm gonna cut it right there just like that and glue this right down here Put too much glue on there all right so now you have your basket so there's your basket and it's almost done so um, now this one that will go ahead and fit in there just like that so we'll go ahead and we can glue that down okay and usually I try to find you know so it's not it's the same uh, going the same way as my other platform on the bottom okay And you just want to press that down so that way it sticks. Okay, so there's your platform. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and you're going to use your... Now, if you're using the same uh, paper, okay, um, you did this on the outside. Now, you need to just decide if you want to go ahead and put that same basket weave on the inside or do you want to go ahead and turn it over and put this part on the inside and I think for me I think I'm going to go ahead and just use the basket the basket weave for the inside okay um, now if you want to use your brads okay you can use your brads right now and um, so what I suggest is that, um, let's see here, we may have to, yeah, 
So like this will fit here, okay, just like that. And then you'll have this extra piece right here, okay. You will need your handle, okay. So, um, you know, it depends on, uh, you know, how your basket forms when you're putting it together. You may have a strip, extra strip, and that will be your handle. If you don't have an extra strip and you use all four of your strips for the base and the inside of your basket, um, cut another strip, okay? And you can use um, you can use a decorative punch if you want or whatever you have available. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my um, my punch this. And I think actually, you know, for this, I think I might just go ahead and score down the middle of this. And um, and then just fold it so it's um, the same. So it's the same on the on the top and the bottom, or yeah, on the top and the bottom of the handle. So I'm just going to go ahead and score this right down the middle. Now you can do the same thing. Whatever paper you're using does not matter. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and burnish that down, just like this. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can attach your handle with brads, okay? Um, I, I didn't do that with this one, and it's, it's pretty sturdy. I didn't, I didn't do that. Um, let's see. With this other one, I did, I think. Or no, I didn't, actually. I, I take that back. I, didn't, I, I just put brads on the outside of it, um, but I didn't, I didn't put brads in it on it, uh, the handle. So, then, so for this part, I think what I might do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut so it's not overlapping here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and glue this down together. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glue down. Just like that. And I'm just going to burnish that down just like that. Okay. And there's my handle. So I have my handle now. So, and now I'm just kind of... Um, bending it a little bit so it it will uh, form into my handle just like this so just kind of rounding it so there's my handle just like that so now if you want to you can go ahead and add your brads and I think I'm going to go ahead and add some brads to this to my handle um, like I said, you don't have to. Um, I didn't on my other one, and it turned out just fine. So, just going to grab some colorful little buttons here for Easter. I think I'll grab the green. Or, let's see, whatever colors come up, how's that? <laughs> Let's see here. I need to make sure they match. The size matches because they're diff there's different sizes in here. Let's see. We'll go ahead and use these. Okay. Okay. So for my handles, I'm going to go ahead and uh, figure out which where I want my handle. And I think I want my handle right here. I'm going to cover up where I layered right there. Okay. And let's see. I think that's it. 
So I am going to go ahead, before I do my handle, I'm going to go ahead and cut the little pieces that I want off of my basket where they're sticking up. Okay, just like that. Oop, I think I cut into my basket. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my inker. Okay, and I'm just going to go over the top of my basket again so I know that the edges that I cut off aren't showing white. So there we go. So just like that. And let's see here. Okay, so this is my handle. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put my handle on. Before I do this, I do need my little hole punch. And I do want to glue this down. Now, depending on how big you want your handle, you know, um, it's up to you. You can leave it that this that size. I'm going to go ahead and poke my hole right in there. Okay. And grab my little brad. A nice table topper too like if you're you know decorating your little table or whatever be so stinking cute so I have a little bit of excess right here and I can just go ahead and nip that off okay you want to make sure you don't have your strip on there or you'll cut your strip off okay and then you can go ahead and add your inside. So for that, um, it's pretty easy since we have all of our stuff already on there. You can just go ahead and add your glue all the way down. You're going to go ahead and just glue that right on top. Cute little basket. So, um, there. <laughs>